Are the signs of the predicted bank bail-ins here earlier than expected? Our psychic's latest prediction video seemed to suggest that we wouldn't see bank bail-ins until 2026. But with the shocking closure of Silicon Valley Bank, it begs the question. Is our psychic's timeline off? Did she miss something? Or did she foresee a future that's now just beginning to unfold? Stay tuned as we investigate further into the perplexing world of bank bail-ins from a psychic's perspective. The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, it lends money to some of the biggest names in the tech world and is the largest bank to fail since the 2008 financial crisis. Now, the collapse all happened in just 48 hours. It started late Wednesday when the bank surprised investors saying it needed to raise more than $2 billion in capital to offset losses from bond sales. So that triggered a panic among the bank's clients who started rapidly withdrawing money. By Thursday, the company's shares tanked 60 percent. Shares were halted altogether this morning, and the feds have now seized control of the lender. On Friday, California banking regulators moved quickly and closed down the startup-focused lender, SVB Financial Group. The bank's failure is the largest since the 2008 financial crisis, and it prompted billions of dollars in losses for the sector worldwide. Is this bank's failure the canary in the coal mine for an imminent banking collapse, or is it just an early warning of things to come? I tend to go with the latter. That is, I don't see this incident taking down the entire banking system at this time. If you watched my previous video on the subject, I warn listeners that bank bail-ins are coming, but not until 2026, at least on a catastrophic scale. And yes, millions will be affected, but there's a bigger story here. If you're a small business or just an individual banking customer like me, then why should we worry? After all, the FDIC is there to insure deposits. Well, I'll let this California CBS News anchor and some of the victims of SVB explain it for you. Take a listen. A line of about 50 people deep, waiting in the rain, trying to withdraw their money. They got no money. Instead, they were met with FDIC representatives who told them they can return on Monday and withdraw up to $250,000. Ryan Gilbert is the founder of the Oakland-based venture capital firm Launchpad. Launchpad is backing 67 companies that collectively employ more than 1,000 employees. Many of those companies bank with SVB. We're reliant on SVB as our bank to move money um, on behalf of our payroll company into the accounts of our employees. A lot of the tech CEOs who were here trying to get their money out, they did not want to go on camera. They were telling me a lot of their workers still don't know they may not get paid next week. They say a quarter of a million dollars do not last very long in their world. Mm -hmm. That's why one CEO was even telling me they may have to scale back or even shut down if they can't get another loan. So Juliet, this collect So you see, even if you were to recover funds from a failed bank through the FDIC, what about the small to medium-sized businesses with over $250,000 in deposits? How will they make payroll? How will they pay rent or cover the cost of raw materials? This is an epic disaster in the making, but perhaps it's what the Federal Reserve is intending, an opportunity for a complete reset of the U.S. currency to something far less appealing for the rest of us. Most of us will be left with a nearly worthless digital currency that our banking overlords can completely exploit to their advantage. When this does happen, I would fully expect to see the wealth gap between the ultra-rich and the rest of us to utterly explode, at least for those of us in the Western world. But such a gap would be as short-lived as a centralized digital currency, so there is hope for a much brighter future ahead. Remember, this is not financial advice, so guard your hard-earned money carefully. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed all the juicy psychic insights. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.